Hi guys! So I'm stopping by my old office and I just realized that my work bag has not been unpacked since March. I guess what I probably did was came home um, from whatever that last day of work was when the pandemic um, escalated and we started locking down here in the DMV area and um, I must have just taken my laptop out. I took out um, my little makeup pouch, you know, where you keep your, like your hair ties and like your chapstick. And I mean, most people keep makeup in their makeup pouches, but like that's what's in mine. I need to just quickly go through my bag and figure out what is mine, what needs to go back to the office, the things that are not my property. And I was just kind of curious to see what was in here. I'm just curious, I'm just curious. And um, yeah, I thought it'd be fun. So, obviously no laptop in here, no makeup bag, but what else is in here? So, apparently I went to Giant and bought some seedless grapes, probably on my way home from work. We love grapes in this house. <laughs> wow, faded CVS receipt. We're not even gonna go into that. <laughs> You know how like CVS receipts are like really ridiculously long when you only bought like two things? These expired March 16th. It's been a minute. All right. And I also went to Target. What did I buy from there? Up and up. Huh. Anyway, Target. Another little pouch that keeps some bits in there for me when I just need to walk quickly to the bathroom. It's so cute. Probably got it from Michaels. And it's legit a pencil case, but whatevs. Um, more Target. So apparently I shopped a lot pre-pandemic. I don't shop as much anymore, mostly like food. So yeah, some toiletries here. I was looking for this. Okay, an umbrella. I'm gonna pop that in my car. Uh, what else? I really love this bag. I got this bag, um, what is this? It's a Steve Madden bag. I got it from DSW and I really liked it because it had that little extra pouch in there so I'd stick my laptop in there and probably stick like my lunch or something in this and then everything else on the other side. Um, I used to take the Metro in and then in the last kind of weeks before um, things started locking down, I started driving my mom and I to work. Aww. So I used to work for much of times. So it just whacked myself in the, the face. Um, and there are a lot of notes in here that I meant to type up. Yikes, so this is all recycling now. Wow. Oh, we had, this looks like we had, um, oh, this is super old. We had a report card, some notes came out, report card briefing. Um, every year the March of Dimes has um, a maternal and infant health report card. So, and um, it says here we were in the Dirksen Senate office building. So um, it's probably just a run of events. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was probably live tweeting or something. I work in advocacy communications. I love it, love it, love it. Basically just like um, simplifying like the the bills that um, are being lobbied by certain organizations, whatever organization I'm working with at the time. And um, just like, you know, the person who sends out that text for you to sign this petition or the email that says, hey, we're supporting X, Y, and Z bill. Like, please, you know, um, join this webinar or like, Put your name in and submit a comment or something that's what i do so good times <clears throat> oh change maker phone action um is one of the softwares that i use the basically advocacy um software is slightly different from like your like hoot suites and like tweet decks and things like that because the software is, is, I guess, structured, for lack of a better word, in a way um, that you can contact your legislators and um, 
directly through social and email and things. Um, yeah, probably a lot of things I was supposed to do that I, I just, you know how things go. Ooh, this. This needs to go back to the office. Um, memory card. I really like this case. So basically it's just a case to hold your hard drive in. And um, since this is the offices, it's all like, I don't think I ever used this. I think it was probably going to be backing up <laughs> some files. I, th I guess I was overly optimistic about what I would do um, during a pandemic. So that needs to go back to the office. Um, Edward Jones, I don't remember who, what, where, and why, but a little first aid kit. I should probably just look into this. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff is gonna expire soon. Like cleaning towel lip. I could probably put these in my car. Hmm. And some band-aids. Kinda smells a little good. I don't know if you like the smell of like disinfectant. Um, where else did I shop? Dunkin' Donuts. I used to get my breakfast all the time from there. Um, oh, a little Dove Pot. Probably pop this in my car as well. Since, I mean, I don't really carry purses anymore, bags anymore, because I literally go from my car straight into the grocery store or whatever back in my car or like the one or two people in my like little like quarantine bubble I have like one or two um, sets of homes that I allow myself to go to um, never have more than three people in those homes because it's basically a friend and her sister or just one of my friends so basically those are like Social distances can be, have the windows open, masks on. Um, yeah, so I really just have no need for bags at the moment. Otherwise I'm home. Or like looking for things that you can do outside. It's gonna be a little bit harder now that it's um, cold. Some tissues, I hope these are unused, they're napkins. Um, and one more receipt from Whole Foods. Oh yeah, they had a really good, Whole Foods has like a great, well, I guess, I don't know, I can't speak for all of them, but the one by my office had a great hot bar. Wow. I loved going out for lunch. Me and my friend would um, take our little lunchtime walks. Um, sometimes we'd hit Whole Foods, sometimes a food truck, just whatever, whatever was popping that day. I miss those things. But I also enjoy being at home and making my lunch. One, I feel like it's healthier. I need to experiment more with my cooking. I feel like I eat a lot of the same things because like I just go to my go-to easy things to make. At least like when you're in the office, like there's things like I don't cook, period. Like don't know how to cook, so wouldn't even unless I'm like sitting here with a recipe or something, which I don't do. Yeah, I miss that, the whole like walking at the lunchtime, like keeping like active, getting the tea, you know, ordering through the app, which is something that is so basic, but like you don't understand how long it took me to start ordering food from an app. So shout out. Shout out to the colleague who knows who they are, who put me on. Yeah, so this was not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I thought I'd have some really cool things in here, but no, it checked even the little side pockets. This is a really handy bag, I really love it. Probably just gonna pop it in the wash, um, cause it's a little bit dusty. And um, yeah, I just put it in my closet for God knows when. I'm just really glad I found this umbrella, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> have a great day. Stay healthy, stay socially distanced, and um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.